So welcome everybody, my name is Lindsay. I'm coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. So welcome to Fox Nation. And thank you for joining us today. Uh, today's class, class is stretch and release. Uh, so we will be involving some stretching, including some myofascial release as well to help with your flexibility. So whenever you're ready, come meet me on your yoga mat. Actually, going to take off our socks to start off if you have them on. All right, so you're going to cross your right foot over top of your left foot. We're just going to kind of start to like wake up the toes. So you're going to bend and flex back and forth. Then you're going to gently take your knuckles and you're going to massage the middle part of your foot. Kind of digging in there. That arch. This is really good to do also with um, a lacrosse ball or tennis ball, even just sitting at a desk and rolling over it. All right, now go ahead and relax that. You're going to take your big toe, you're going to pull, 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 then release. And you're going to do the same thing with each toe, elongating it. Great. Starting back up with the big toe. And down. One last time. Good. All right. Take the right ankle off in front of you. And begin to do some rotations back and forth. Go ahead and switch out. Right leg underneath. Left foot is on top. Give this left foot some love. So first off, bend and flex those toes back and forth. All right. Take those knuckles on the right hand. We're going to dig in into the arch and maybe up towards the toes. So releasing the fascia in your feet is actually really good to do before any kind of uh, lower body exercise, lifting, um, taking that lacrosse ball and digging in will help to activate the, the back muscles, so all along the back side of your legs. All right, relax here and then begin to pull up on the big toe. You can feel a few crunches. And then go all the way down to the pinky, start back up with the big toe, and come all back down. One last time. And release. Straighten out the left leg and begin to rotate in that ankle back and forth. Go ahead and straighten both legs out now. We're going to bend the knees and release any tension there. Begin to pull up on your glutes. You're going to have your hands on your sit bones. And then you flex your toes up towards you. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale. Begin to crawl your fingertips down your legs towards your feet. Hanging out here. Take an inhale. Begin to reset. Stacking vertebrae. And then exhale, leaning forward. Inhale, stacking. And then exhale forward. On this exhale, you can begin to round at your back and then reach for as far as you can for your hamstring today. Stretch along the back side. One more inhale. And with the exhale, keep your gaze looking down between your legs as you begin to crawl back up. Go ahead and bend those feet in. So the bottoms of the feet are placed together. You're going to do a few butterflies up and down, wiggling out those hips a little bit. All 
Right, place your feet in a distance away from your body that feels comfortable to you to get a nice stretch along the inner thighs. So with the breath, I want you to lean, I mean, um, straighten up that tall spine and then exhale, begin to lean forward. My hips are pretty tight. I'm actually going to bring them up a little bit and then lean forward, and that's more comfortable for me. So breathe in, nice tall spine, and then exhale, focus on hinging at those hips and keep leaning forward. And then exhale, begin to curl back up, releasing this feet out. Let's focus on the neck down. So you can either keep your legs out like this, or you can bring them back in, cross legged, pull on those glutes no matter where you're at. Then take an inhale, and nice little spine, and exhale, release the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, look up, and exhale, release. So back and forth, very gently. This is your inner breath. And breath release. Stay here. You're going to swing back and forth like a pendulum with your head, making sure to keep that tall spine. Keep that core engaged. And take a breath here. Take your gaze down towards your right fingertips. I mean, right elbow. Take a deep breath and then exhale, sweep across. Looking down towards the left elbow. Take a deep inhale, exhale, come back to neutral, and then stack one vertebrae at a time, looking straight ahead. With the movement, we're going to sink to our breath once again. So take a deep inhale, turn towards your right, and then exhale, neutral. Inhale, twist to the left, exhale, neutral, and then keep going at your own pace. Keep that neck a little bit of rotation. Any toxins. And one more to each side. Go ahead and take this right hand. We are going to cross it over towards the left shoulder. So right above the left shoulder, between the neck and the shoulder, this is muscle called the upper trap and it tends to get really tight from sitting at desk. So let's really dig in there, find a part of the muscle that's kind of tender you could use some digging into. So take your two point your three finger and your middle finger and you're gonna push in and apply some pressure. Take a deep inhale, you're gonna feel the muscle move into the fingers and then exhale, you're gonna allow the right ear to drop down towards the right shoulder. Keep applying that pressure. And begin to release. Go ahead and gently move your neck neutral. You're going to cross this left arm behind you. We're still going to work on that part of your neck. Now we're going to do a little massage part. You're going to drop this right ear down towards your right shoulder again, keeping the left side of your chest open by putting the arm behind you. Allow your right hand to pull down on your neck very gently, sinking that right ear even deeper now that we've released the upper chest.
Allow your knee back in here. And with the exhale, sweep the chin across, release both arms, and just pendulum swing back and forth. So hopefully you felt a nice little relaxation of that left side. We're gonna work on the right side now. So um, begin to stop your pendulum swings, come neutral, and then stack one vertebra at a time looking straight sure ahead. Cross the left hand over towards the right trap. And then again, find a nice tender spot, pushing with your pointer finger and middle finger. Hold that spot. And then allow the left ear to jump down towards the left shoulder. Keep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more breath here. And then release. All right, right arm behind the back, left hand gently along the right side of the head. Take a breath, and then exhale, allow that left ear to drop even deeper down towards the shoulder. You can play around with this if you'd like. You can turn your head down towards your armpit more, or you can turn up to the sky, whatever feels best for you. Breath. With the exhale, sweep the chin across the chest, release both hands, and allow your head just to pendulum swing. All right, gently stack one vertebra at a time until looking straight ahead. We're going to take those hands and we're going to place them on the back side of our head. Elbows are going to come in close to our head. And then allow our chin to fall down to our chest again. You can round at your back here. Just feeling that nice stretch on the back side of the neck. Maybe you find that it travels down your upper back a little bit more. Take one more inhale here, squeeze the elbows together, tuck your head into your hands, and then lift very gently. Hands are going to stay behind your head once again. We're going to twist towards the right, and then come back neutral. Inhale when you come neutral, exhale, twist. Inhale, and exhale. It's a very small movement, twisting through the thoracic. It's good to open up that part of our back so it gets tight, sitting at a desk, or working over top of patients. All right, one more in each direction. And release. Stretch out those hands. We've worked them kind of hard. So just flip your fingertips down towards the floor, bring them back towards the elbow, and then alternate back and forth. Release. And come on down to onto your back very gently, however you want to meet there. We're going to hug those knees to our chest, give yourself some love, and then we're going to rock very gently side to side. If you'd like, you can plant your feet and rock side to side. Up to you. All right, release the right leg straight up to the bottom of the mat, and then left leg is going to hug into your chest. Try to pull towards the outside of the rib cage. Take a breath and exhale. 
Exhale, release. Take the next inhale. You're going to have to push your hands into your thighs as your thigh pushes into your hands. So take a breath and push. And then exhale, release. And then you can get a little bit further now with the stretch. Do that again. So inhale, push. And exhale, pull in deeper. One more inhale on the thigh. Four, three, two, one. Release and then hold here. Allow your crib around your legs. Allow your shoulders to relax. Take one more breath from here. And then exhale. You're gonna drop that left foot. Grab the outside of the left leg with your right hand. Very gently lift up again. And then you're gonna come across the body. So try to stack on top of your right hip. You can hold over top or you can hold under whatever is more comfortable for you. We're gonna cross over. And then allow that left foot to drop down to the mat. If you want to extend the pose, you can take your left arm out to the side and look down the left fingertips. You can also straighten this left leg all the way out, releasing this twist along the spine. One more breath from here. And on the exhale, your left arm is open. Come to meet over on top of your thigh. And then bend that left leg if it's straight. Bring the left knee over top of the right. We're going to take this left arm and we're going to reach it up and above our head. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. It said I was signed out. I'm sorry. Okay. So you're going to be on your right side. Left arm is going to sweep up and above. Exhale when you're open. Inhale when you come across. Exhale as you open. And then inhale to stack. So sink at your own breath and do a few more repetitions. You should feel it opening up in your chest and in your shoulder. All right. Give me one more sweep up and above your head. And relax here. You're gonna take the right hand and you're gonna cup the left wrist. You're gonna gently pull that left hand in front of the right as you should feel a nice stretch along your upper back on the left side. Exhale and release. Take an inhale and gently pull, allowing the left side to come towards the right. Exhale, release. One more like such, inhale, pull. And exhale, release. Take a deep inhale as we relax here. And with the breath, release and open up that left side. Then right comes to the left. I'm gonna switch again, so I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so these are stacked on the top of the hips. Plant both feet down. Right knee hugs into your chest this time. Extend the left leg down towards the mat. Take a breath and pull that knee on the outside of the rib cage and exhale, release. 
This time, give a little resistance with your hands and your legs. Push it into the side. Four, three, two, one. Then hug a little bit deeper with the exhale. Breathe in and push for five. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale and push for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, and we're gonna hold here for a nice stretch for 30 seconds. Take one more breath here. And on the exhale, plant that right foot down. We're going to take that left hand on the outside of the right thigh or underneath. We'll lift back up and then come across your body. So it's easier if your foot can't touch for you to hug underneath and cradle it that way. But if you can touch, you can allow your left arm to come over top. Staying bent or straightening. And you can also out to elongate the stretch. Breathing in, sending the breath down the right fingertips. Allow yourself to spice and twist into your spine. Taking one more breath here. And on the exhale, bring this right arm over top of the left. Bend both knees, stacking right hip over top of the left. With the breath, you're going to sink, sweeping up and above. So take a deep breath here. And then on the exhale, sweep up and open. Inhale, cross. And exhale, open. Do a few more at your own pace. Deepening the inhales, extending the exhales. Last one here. Inhaling across and exhale, sweeping to open. One more across and then hug on to the right wrist with the left fingers. Take an inhale, allow this right upper back to round forward, grounding in the hips, not shifting the torso. And then exhale, release. Inhale, pull on that right arm. And exhale, release. Last one here. Inhale and pull. And exhale, release. Take an inhale here. Relax and fetal. And on the exhale, begin to release your right side of the body. Bend your left, your right. Put your hands to your chest. And then begin extending the legs out to happy baby. So you're going to hug them to the insides of the feet or legs or the outsides. You're going to feel your shoulders begin to round off. Let's make sure you plant those shoulders back and down, keeping the neck and head secure as well. 
Take a breath. And with the exhale, imagine your tailbone being pulled down towards the bottom of your mat. Come down to relax in this pose. Rocking happy baby back and forth. Massaging up the lower back. Squeeze those legs together. Put on to the back of the thighs. And then we're going to rock up a few times. Come and meet me seated once again. You're going to keep your left foot planted on the floor. You're going to take this right foot and you're going to cross over either on the floor, shin, or thigh, whatever's comfortable to you. You want your hips trying to be as level as they can. So my right hip is a lot tighter. I'm going to bring it down to the shin. Begin to pull up your sit bones. Make sure you're nice and planted evenly. Take an inhale, tall spine. And then exhale, begin to lean forward. So come to a Point where you feel a good stretch on the outside of that right hip. You can stay here nice and lifted, or you can come down towards your forearms, whatever's comfortable for you today. Take one more inhale here and exhale and begin to crawl your fingertips back up. Wherever you're at, maybe try challenging yourself or staying here. It's up to you. Place your forearms along your thigh, inner part of your thigh, and you're going to push into your forearms as your forearms push into your back. So push for a three, two, one, and Again, let's try that once again. Push for three, two, one, and release. Now, so you can get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Inhale, tall spine, and then exhale, curl forward. Breathing in, sending, sending the energy down the right side of your hip, allowing it to soften and release. And then exhale, curl back up. Just release this right leg out. Give me a little few rotations. Give it a nice break. And then we're going to switch. Right leg is planted on the floor. Left foot is on the floor. Shin or thigh, up to you. Inhale, pull up on your sit bones. Nice and planted. All right, take another breath with me once again. Tall spine. And then exhale, move forward. Up on your hands. Just wherever is comfortable. One more breath here. And then exhale, crawl those fingertips back up. Another P and F stretch on the left. So forearms to thigh, push up gently for three, two, one, release. Last one, push up for three, two, one, release. And see if you can get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Crawling down maybe to your forearms this time. Up to you.
And take one more breath from here. And exhale, curl those, bring your tips back up. Release the left foot, release the right, and do a few rotations on the floor. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. This was your stretch and release class for Thursday. And look forward to the rest of the classes this week. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Take care.